Okay, so just an update to my disassembly of the Buffalo Mini Station 1TB. I've uh, taken the plate off it now. I've got my computer open. Okay, so this is what the inside of the flimsy HP DV8 looks like. It's got two drive bays, and these flimsy drive caddies, which are sitting there, just mounted with a piece of rubber, a couple of bits of aluminium, and a cable. Okay, and that's covered with a plastic plate that goes over the back. As you can see, it's actually, it's going to be slightly, if you look across the edge here, it's going to be slightly too big, but because the whole DV8 is actually such a flimsy machine, it will fit in anyway. Okay, here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the two drives. This is my old 500 gigabyte drive, which is of course a 9.5 millimeter. And this is the new one terabyte drive, which is a 12.5 millimeter. So there's a three millimeter difference in height. However, as I was saying, with these flimsy disc caddy mechanisms that um, come with the HP machines and their flimsy drive bays, you can probably drop that in there just like that, and I might be able to mount the, the caddy around that as it's supposed to. And it might actually work. So we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've now mounted the flimsy HP disc caddy onto this 1TB Western Digital hard drive. And it does, it's a bit of a squeeze, but it does actually fit. Okay, so this is what it looks like now it's mounted in the machine. So that should work. It might put a little bit of pressure on the circuit board, which is not a good idea. So I would be very careful with this machine while it's mounted with this 1TB in there. But it's only a temporary measure until the slimline 1TB comes out. Uh, the 9.5mm version, which would be much better than obviously a 12.5mm. Okay, thank you for watching.